Hello everybody, uh, right, I'm, I've moved on to the next part of my loco, my, I'm calling it my beginner's loco because it's the first one I've ever done. Uh, and I'm just doing it from a beginner's perspective, just to give anybody who might be setting out like me an insight into into what's involved. Uh, if you saw my last video, you'd have seen me doing the waste shaft assembly. Uh, so if you've not seen that, take, take, take a look back at that, and then you'll let, you'll, you'll let, it'll explain to you the rest, how the rest of the components fit to it. The way shaft is this one in the middle. It's just a two with two brackets and a, a shaft going through with two phosphor bronze bushes in the end. So I've continued making the slides and the front covers for the slides. The, the slide blocks that fit inside, the vi and, and all the pivot pins, etc. The vibrating lever, the slide bracket and the valve rods and all the clevises and pins. So I'll just show you drawing front book in a bit more detail with them components. So this is the vibrating lever and it's bushes. That's the way shaft assembly there which I did in my last video. Then the, you've got your slides and there's two ways of doing them slides there's a, a fabricated method or the alternative method where you mill a slot in and then put a cover on and I'll explain it in a minute then there's a slide bracket the slide blocks and the valve rod and all its clevises and pivot pins so that's what I've been up to, and they're all here in front of me now, completed. If I can just get it all into view. So here's my vibrating lever, with a brass bronze bush in, and the bronze bush, the head of the bronze bush, fits on the same side as you've put your slot in. There's two of them, there's the valve rod and it's clevises, it says make them out of mild steel in but I've, I've actually made them out of bronze. That's got a little pivot pin inside it and it's screwed onto the valve rod with, two BA, with the 2BA thread on each side. And there's a little kink in that valve rod, if you can see it. It kinks out, like on an S-bend, by one eighth of an inch. And this is actually my prototype. I've got some stainless steel here to, to make the proper ones in. But I've just done this as a sample because I've got to get my lengths correct. Because I've got no actual measurements. I'm making a meter made and I'm using sweet pea a sweet pea book and drawings so with me altering my wheels it alters the length of this I think I've got it correct but I've just made it made it up just to try it first when I get the rest of the uh, cylinders and valves done so that that's the valve rod and its clevises and, and pivot pins then you've got your, your, your actual slides and they're made out of mild steel with a slot in and then a cover fits over. There's two of those. And I've just found some material in one of my uh, drawers which is just ideal. I've just skimmed it down to to its um, outside dimensions at 7 8 square two of those and I'm going to mill a slot in next which fit onto the way shaft by two roll pins on each side and the important thing is here that you can you can fit one get your roll pins drilled and fitted 
for your all pins make sure you've pushed up to that shoulder as you're drilling it then once you've got that one side fitted it's important that the other side which you can't quite see is parallel dead dead parallel with everything and in line with the axles so you want that to be exactly parallel and in line so by by put it put it put it on your drilling table flat imagine this rule as your drilling table and then once everything's flat I likely put a clamp on to keep it up to those shoulders of that way shaft not tight but just so it didn't move from them shoulders while I drill the other side for the roll pin then you get everything dead parallel and in line so once that's fitted there's also this little angle bracket here that's the slide bracket it's only on one side that on the left hand side and your reach rod's going to come off of that up to your into your cab up to your rever reversing lever I've not done that yet look I've got some material to make it with but again I've got to alter my centers for this so I can't get this finish yet till I've got the reversing stand fitted onto the cab floor at this at this side so that'll come later what else um, then in these slides fit fit the slide blocks with a pivot pressed in a tight fit like so and there's a little it's called a weir in the book on the outside and it forms an oil trap once it's in the slide just to keep collect the oil and keep it lubricated you see that and that's going to fit in the slide like so I'll just turn it over a bit so that's going to fit in there and that wants to be a good fit in that slide then on top of that you put your cover which is held on with eight 6BA screws I'll just put two in for now just to hold it in countersunk so that's the slide in and that wants to be a good fit in there there's no oil on that yet it's a bit a little bit tight but once I've got, got it oiled up that'll be a nice fit then there's the vibrating lever that fits to that with its bronze bushing and the recess on the head on the head side of the bronze bush there's two of them and that's going to fit on your crank return crank on the pin and then fit onto that slide pivot right I'm not I'm not going to fit everything as it should be yet and then in this side there'll be a washer on with a little pin to stop it coming off I believe on both of them so that's the that's it all moving round that look now and that's how it's going to work and then your reversing lever just tilts this one way or the other so that's the vibrating lever then on that vibrating lever fits the valve rod with its kink in and the clevis is screwed on with two BA screws and that's going to fit 
If I can get at it. Just a minute. I might have to turn wheels a bit. That's better. So that's gonna that clevis is gonna go through where that recess is with this pin coming through back side like so and then a nut on and a washer and I'm not going to fasten it on properly because I'm not quite ready for doing that yet reason is I'll tell you why I've, I've got to take this um, connecting rod off yet and uh, drill an oil well in it and, and bush it so I've got, I've got to take this off again to do that uh, what else is the? I think that's everything. And that that bracket there is held on with two four ba screws. Yeah, uh, I think that's everything. Right, I think I've explained everything. Uh, I think that's clear enough. So yeah, that's everything. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you on my next my next little parts, which will be that reversing stand and all its components. Anyway, thanks for watching, and bye for now, then.